One of the toughest cancer battles is against pancreatic cancer as it often spreads before it's even found and survival rates are low. Yeah, now researchers though at Providence Cancer Institute are hopeful they found a breakthrough, a way to train your body to fight the cancer. Lisa Balick spoke with doctors working on this. She joined us live from Northeast Portland. You know, Lisa, so many of us know people who have died of pancreatic cancer in our families or our friends. Apple founder Steve Jobs, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, among those who have died from pancreatic cancer. Now Providence researchers believe they are on a better path to finding a way to stop the cancer from spreading. Chemo would not save my life. It might prolong it, but I don't think it would have been the quality of life that I really wanted to have. So I started researching immunotherapy. Kathy Wilkes lives in Florida. Diagnosed with deadly pancreatic cancer, she had surgery and radiation, but the cancer spread to her lungs. She went online and found research done by Providence Dr. Eric Tran, where immune cells known as T cells are taken from your blood, genetically altered to identify the cancer, billions of the cells grown, then placed back in the patient to seek out and destroy the cancer cells. Wilkes was a match for Tran's research. So far, it's been a success. I looked at the screen with him and looked at the before shot uh, of where I started and with just a little over a month, the after shot. And my, the nodules in my lungs, which is the only place I had cancer, but those nodules shrunk 67%. She's one of only two cancer patients to go through the treatment. It didn't work for the other patient. But Providence Cancer Institute researchers are cautiously optimistic, publishing their study results with Wilkes in the New England Journal of Medicine today. This is a beachhead. You know, one by one, we are discovering new T cell receptors against different mutations and different genes, all of which could be brought into the clinic. The doctors believe this type of what's called adoptive cell therapy could be used for patients with most other types of cancer. There's now a study of 24 patients underway. Here in Portland, Providence Cancer Institute, you know, first in the world to target a mutation with this sort of therapy called T cell receptor gene therapy and to have it actually shrink, you know, pancreatic cancer in a patient. I think that's, um, again, it's optimistic. And again, doctors say this is promising, but they also admit a lot more research is needed and it may be several years down the road. Back to you.